Hey guys, and welcome back to Hardware Unboxed. You've probably seen our coverage over the past few weeks on the Meltdown and Spectre vulnerabilities, specifically the performance drops you can expect from the patches that address these issues. Steve's been doing a great job covering the desktop side of things, where we currently have a serious lack of updates for anything outside the newest hardware platforms. Today, however, I'll be diving into the mobile side of things to see how Meltdown and Spectre patches have affected ultra-portable laptops. At this stage, OEMs are much more keen on patching laptops than they are on patching desktop motherboards, especially the big name manufacturers like HP, Dell and others. This makes it easier to test older hardware platforms, at least with the hardware I have on hand. So in this video, I'll be looking at the impact on both the latest 8th gen Intel U-series parts, along with three-year-old 5th gen Broadwell parts. The laptops I'm using for testing are both Dell XPS 13, so high-end ultra-portable systems with 15 watt CPUs inside. The newer 9360 model has an Intel Core i7-8550U inside with 8GB of RAM and a 256GB Samsung PM961 PCIe SSD. The older Broadwell 9343 model comes with a Core i5-5200U, also 8GB of RAM, and a 256GB Samsung PM851 SATA SSD. As with desktops, patching these laptops requires two separate updates, a BIOS update specific to the device that tackles the Spectra vulnerabilities, along with a recent Windows update that kills Meltdown and supports the Spectra BIOS patch. I've tested both Dell XPS 13s in two configurations, before either update was applied and after both updates were applied. This will give us a good idea of how the performance differs between an unpatched system and a fully protected system. I should note here that the performance differences you'll see may not apply to all laptops with this sort of hardware inside, but it should give a good indication of how these patches affect a more performance constrained system. Let's kick things off here by looking at PCMark, which is a set of workloads designed to simulate real-world tasks. Across the three PCMark 8 tests and PCMark 10, there isn't a significant impact from the Meltdown and Spectre patches, with performance declining by just a few percent in most cases. This is margin of error type stuff, and for most cases won't be a noticeable difference in performance. Cinebench R15 is an interesting one here as we do start to see some performance degradation. The 8th gen platforms seem to be more heavily affected here, dropping by 7% in the multi-threaded workload and 3% in the single-thread workload. Broadwell was still affected but the difference was negligible in the single-threaded test and just 4% in multi-threaded. Cinebench isn't the only rendering test that's been affected. While rendering X264 videos in a two-pass encode, Pass 1 performance dropped on both KB Lake Refresh and Broadwell to the tune of 8 and 4% respectively. The more intensive Pass 2, where most of the actual encoding occurs, isn't significantly slowed on the i7-8550U, but it does suffer a marginal decrease on the i5-5200U. Interestingly, rendering an X265 video in Handbrake with a single pass actually improves the performance marginally after the update, particularly on Broadwell where the render time is cut by 5%, so it's not necessarily every rendering workload that is affected by the patches. The final video rendering test I have is Premiere, which is affected by the Spectre and Meltdown patches. On the i7-8550U, both the Lumetri Effect Enhanced test and the non-Lumetri test declined by around 5%, although the performance decline is slightly higher on the i5-5200U. On a performance constrained device like an ultra portable, seeing any performance slowdowns in Premiere is a big deal as most of these laptops run a fine line between being capable of editing videos and delivering a choppy mess. Photoshop suffers from the patches as well, though it does depend on the filter you're using. One of the most intensive in the application is the Iris Blur, which takes 11% longer on Intel's 8th gen CPUs and 19% longer on 5th gen after the patches are applied. This is a bit of a worst case scenario as a number of the less intensive filters see a negligible difference, but this is a reminder that only some workloads are hit by the patches even within an application. For benchmarking enthusiasts like us, it's disappointing to see one of our favorite tools, Microsoft Excel, suffer from a performance hit due to the security patches. 
On both the KB Lake Refresh and Broadwell Ultra Portable platforms, the Monte Carlo workload takes a 4-6% performance hit, which is in line with most other drops we've seen. Compression and decompression is a very interesting workload to test before and after the patches. In 7-Zip, performance is mostly unchanged, with the only real decline seen in compression on the i5-5200U, to the tune of 4%. However, in WinRAR compression, things get a bit crazy, with the i7-8550U showing performance improvements, while the i5-5200U gets it with a 6% performance drop. It's strange, but I double and triple checked this result, and I guess it came up the same every time. MATLAB is another workload where Broadwell is affected more than KB Lake Refresh. On the i5-5200U, simulation performance dropped by a rather significant 15%, while on the i5-8550U, the impact was less severe at just 5%. While neither of the Dell XPS 13s I benchmarked are very good gaming machines, I thought it would also be interesting to look at 3 d Mark. This test mostly hits the integrated GPU rather than the CPU, so it's not a massive surprise to see no real performance impact here. The final set of tests I'll be looking at are storage benchmarks, because it's here we saw the biggest impact on the desktop platforms. It's a similar story on both the PCIe and SATA SSD equipped laptops here, with massive reductions in performance seen in nearly every situation. The 8th gen XPS 13 with a PCIe NVMe SSD suffers significantly in the sequential write test, with a performance decrease of 24%, whereas the 5th gen XPS 13 with a SATA SSD is largely unaffected here. With Q2 one-thread random performance though, the 8th gen system takes a 5 and 15% hit in reads and writes respectively, whereas the 5th gen system gets punished with 18 and 39% drops. It's interesting to see how other Q-depths and thread counts affect performance. With 8-thread, eight 8-Q-depth eight random transfers, the 8th gen system takes a 14% hit in both reads and writes, while the Broadwell machine takes a larger 34% hit in reads, but the same 14% hit in writes. And then switching to a single thread RAM transfer with a Q depth of 32, and the SATA drive gets punished with more than a 40% reduction in performance in both reads and writes, compared to 35 and 12% drops in reads and writes respectively on the PCIe drive. In the end, the performance impact of Meltdown and Spectre patches is a bit more severe on laptops with an Intel U-series CPU inside compared to the desktop platforms Steve looked at earlier. On the desktop, most productivity workloads saw performance drops that were inside the margin of error, or in other words, you know, only a few percent at best. However, on both KB Lake Refresh and Broadwell laptops I looked at here, Almost every workload was impacted by an amount that's too large to attribute to the margin of error. Workloads like Cinebench, X264 Encoding, Excel, Premiere, Photoshop and MATLAB all experienced noticeable performance declines, typically around the 5% mark, though the worst case was a 19% drop in Photoshop on the i5-5200U. Other tests like PCMark, Handbrake, 3DMark, and both compression and decompression though, were largely unaffected. One of the more interesting things to note from these benchmarks is there doesn't seem to be a significant difference in the amount of slowdown between the three-year-old Broadwell laptop and the modern KB Lake Refresh laptop in productivity workloads. It's certainly not a situation where the older and slower Broadwell is affected more than newer parts. In fact, in some situations, the 8th gen parts are hit harder, while in others, 5th gen suffers more. We'll continue to monitor the situation with the Meltdown and Spectre patches, especially as it sounds like a number of updates have been causing random crashes and other instability problems on older hardware. In fact, just today, Intel has advised OEMs to pull their Spectre BIOS updates due to these problems, and there have been some reports the updates don't even fix the vulnerabilities. I personally didn't see any crashes testing the laptops I looked at for this video, but you know, no doubt we'll be seeing even more updates to try and lock down these issues in the coming weeks and months. And of course, we'll let you know if any of them further affect system performance. As always, if you've appreciated our testing of Meltdown and Spectre over the last few weeks, feel free to support us directly through our Patreon at patreon.com slash hardwareunboxed. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.